We're back with GameSpot's E3 coverage of 2019. We're here with Stephanie and Thomas of the Arcade Crew, and we're about Hello. to check out Kunai. All right, we should just jump right into it. Give us the elevator pitch. What is Kunai all about? I got my Kunai's right here. I see you brought some of them in the green you. room. Very it's like, gonna get crazy. Very brandishy. Yes, near me. I, I come to all my demos <laughs> with weaponry. I'm a little um, intimidated. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Kunai's a ninja Metroidvania. Um, as you can see, you are this really adorable uh, robot uh, with a heart of gold. I noticed when you crouched down, he has like a really little cute cat little face. face. Yeah, yeah we'll <laughs> show that off for sure. You'll see it. You'll see it as soon as he as he jumps in here. Kunai is uh, essentially starting out here. You are about to be rescued uh, by the good robots. And <laughs> after a catastrophic event has destroyed much of humanity across the world. And as the story unfolds here, there you are trapped in suspension. Mm -hmm. um, this is the resistance. They're going to unlock. Uh, they're gonna. They're gonna wake you up. But oh no! Here comes this big bad robot, and it's essentially a game where you play as Tabby, a lovable robot with a heart of gold, but the spirit of a warrior. And you are equipped with various weaponry, like a katana, ninja stars. But the main, the main facet of your your combat in the game is going to be, and mobility is going to be via your kunai. Mm -hmm. um, kunais are weapons that originally started as farming tools in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, but once, uh, they're very sharp knives, they're used for tilling the soil, but you attach a rope to those mothers and you can just, <laughs> you can just, you can just lay waste Where's to the your rope enemies. on those? So I didn't, there was like no floss or anything, so I didn't have time to like attach them, so I brought my, I brought my kunai weapons on stage. Um, TSA, I think, would frown on probably me bringing Actually. and the ESA would probably frown on me bringing, <laughs> uh, weaponry into I did think about it though I was, but it's farming tools so. yeah it's yeah they're just farming tools for um, kids interested at home if you go to amazon.com you can <laughs> search for kunai and have them delivered to your door same day with prime use them responsibly so okay so I do want to talk about the robot because I'm a sucker for a robot with the heart of gold nothing this makes cutie. me more emotional than a robot that just wants love he a violent robot. He is a violent oh. robot. I mean, he's very happy. I mean, look, check him out. He's... So Listen, he, robot buddies are in. Robot buddies are hot right now. You've got Pathfinder and really Legends. Like, you just want a friendly robot, but that's also equipped to kill. So I, I feel it. I'm with it. We do try to stay right on the top of the trends <laughs> with all of the games we, we, we work on here, so... I will so say, this looks a little dark. There's all these dead TVs. I mean, as a as a it's robot okay. TV yourself. We'll talk I, oh, they don't want to talk. I was yeah, just trying to do make those qualify as zombies oh, at this point or like... Maybe. They are, <laughs> they are robot, they are evil robots doing their best to stop you from saving, saving humanity, essentially. I see. And in oh, the so beginning... We're, of, we're pro-human. These robots are pro-human. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. So the yes. rebels are, the ones that woke him up to help them out. They're uh, trying to use Tabby for their own good. Uh, you are cute. saving the Earth uh, as, as Tabby, our beloved robot. Mm -hmm. But you're fighting against very sophisticated AI machinery. Obviously, this is early on, so it's, you know, these are the, these are the, the entry uh, baddies. Um, but as you progress, you're going to encounter some crazy ass shit really is what it breaks <laughs> down to um and this here you can power up you can save uh you can save and recharge in these little rooms but um they are hell-bent on destroying humanity in order to save the earth so it, that's a that's right on the nose deep. You thought this was That's a cute little Metroid, <laughs> nin, Met, Metroidvania ninja game, but I just went there. You went there. We went there. We got deep. And I followed you there. I'm yeah. I I'm about it. You know, it's not a bad idea. It's you know the evidence suggests that maybe all I'm gonna we're, say maybe, maybe humans aren't the greatest. I do to be a little more just cutesy. I do want to talk about his cape. We don't really have to talk at length about it. I just want oh, to make sure everyone sees it. <laughs> it's a little, he's wearing like a little kimono. He's wearing like a, it's not really, it's, it's capey, it's flowy. Yeah. But he's got, 
Um, and I don't, I don't, I just keep saying he. Let's. It. Let's be it. honest. I'm not sure that robots have a gender. I don't want to assume uh, if, if, if it's, if kunai is, is male or female. I just kind of defaulted to, to he, but I'm going to now just start saying The it. most important thing is. Yeah, we could do it. Regardless. That you can kind of pogo stick on guys like DuckTales. If you just swipe down as you're kind of going down a tunnel, you can get that multi-bounce going. I noticed that, so I, I tested it out to make sure it was working, and the combat is really like mm. like the, 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 the impact. The that impact you get is feels done so good. So well, I hate to you know toot my own horn, but that is why I'm here. Ah, did you make uh, that? I will go ahead and take full credit for all of it. No, I, I didn't didn't do that. Um, <laughs> so when you right now, Thomas has the katana weapon, which is what you start out with, but he's about to find the, the kunai here in a minute. Uh-huh. When you hit the robots, and I don't know if you had a chance to, to, to play the demo, mm. when you when you make contact, it your your character jumps back a bit, you really do feel the controls are so nice because you really do feel like you're hit you're destroying something so solid and it's just so yeah. heavy. There's it's a really a very, satisfying thump and very like, satisfying to to defeat. Oh, things. here we go. Oh, oh. Here we go. The titular kunai. But <laughs> He only has one at this point, so show him. So really, you're you're the true hero. You have no. two kunai. Yeah, you so have two yeah. knives. <laughs> so I have, so which makes me better. I have two plastic knives, which <laughs> makes me more powerful than just the one right here. <laughs> yeah. But um, about to get the second one here, and then you'll really kind of see how quickly you can just jump into the action and just start laying waste. It is it is absolutely fun to swing around. You, there are also some. Levels, level design's a little bit almost puzzly in some areas because there will be areas where you can't use your kunai to sink into the walls. So. Right. Also, that is such a cool way to climb. Oh, my yes. God. It's, it's, almost, it's almost like Spider-Man-y, but not as organic. Yeah, not as or like... Yeah, I guess you said it better than I yeah. can. <laughs> so you can use those in combat as well, too, or are they mostly yes. for traversal? Do, do that. Oh, oh, you should have hit that guy before he hit you. Wow, <laughs> pro strats over there. <laughs> you get that from the kunais? It's, I got, I, I mean, I learned that in kunai school. <laughs> So Panera Bread, where yeah, you got I, those knives. Yeah. I do like how expressive his little monitor, or its little monitor is. Like, so, it'll get angry when it's, like, in the middle of fighting. Yeah. When it, yeah, it's when he's yes, it's very expressive, um, but you can you can just jump in with with these weapons and just this is it. I mean, Slay I this waste. Is just I love games that where you don't have to grind a whole lot to to get to the levels where you feel super cool and powerful. Yeah, this kind of gets you in there right away. It gives you um, the things you need to feel powerful and do awesome shit and just be right into the action. Um, I'm. I don't have time to grind, really. <laughs> yeah. I want to get right in You're there. You're on that daily grind. I know. All work. <laughs> At Tinsley PR. It's almost oh, like you know me. Perhaps I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, at PAX, so we took this game to PAX East. The guys, the developers at Turtle Blaze created a portable kunai, tabby character, a portable uh, 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 demo for the game, if you will, but it was in the shape of tabby. Mm -hmm. So they had a, 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 like a post where you could carry it around, and it was dressed in a blue uh, kimono, and it had an iPad face. And when you touched the iPad face, if you poked him once, he was sort of like, eh. You poked it the second time, it eh, made that face. The thing you kept poking it. Tabby just got super pissed and turned red. Oh. And the vibration mechanic would come on. It was great. I loved it. That's people, really cute. People really, really like that. It seems like there's also like a really high skill ceiling in this. Like someone who's really good and has been playing for like me? hours and hours, <laughs> just like you, it's a could hard probably line. come in here and just clear through these levels super quickly. Definitely, it's there is a um, there's a, a time based mode where it you get the the faster you get through the level, the better you will uh, the better you'll do on the on the leaderboards and whatnot and and, and hold the record. Right here, we're playing uh, the junkyard phantom boss. Mm -hmm. which is the first boss that you encounter in the game. As with many Metroidvanias, but particular, particularly in Ninja Metroidvania, oh. um, timing is so crucial here. Uh, this particular boss gave me 
a lot of grief. Uh, and I, wow, you, Not I thought, either. yeah, I really didn't think you were going to make that happen. All thanks to Bloodborne. After beating my wall, my head against the Bloodborne <laughs> wall for about three months. Now I'm really uh, You can beat any game. Yeah. Ba- he Absolutely thinks he not. can. You're no. like, you completed gaming as a whole, and now you can just do anything. Yes. But We're yeah. going to go with yes, because we don't have <laughs> enough time to disprove that. So. <laughs> uh, any idea when this game is coming out, or is that... Uh, it's it's uh, TBD on that. We're, okay. We'll have more to say later this year-ish. I'm going to leave that open. Okay. Um, but do you want to go into the time trial sure. part of the demo? If we have time for the time trial? Yeah, I think yeah. we have a little bit of time. We're going to be able to finish it, but... Uh, Give it this a go. An, for sure. Another Do good ch- um, example of some of the other abilities you didn't see in the previous demo. Uh, so obviously we have the kunai, and there's those walls she was kind of talking about where you can't stick them, so you uh. won't just have free reign to go wherever you want. Um, but we did want to show you kind of the dash ability, and there's also some twin dual wielding uh, of uh, machine guns going on as well. Mm-hmm. Do you have any of those as well, or just the? Knife? I don't. I didn't bring my machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> They, uh, they, didn't, the best. they didn't let yeah. me in the door. Yeah. Or on the airplane with us. <laughs> right. But it is a nice looking uh, game. The, the color scheme, the six color palette. Every environment's going to feel um, unique, but different enough. When you're underground, you're going to have more of those grayscale colors from the color, the six color palette. When you're outside, ah. it's going to be a black and white. Very seamless, uh, clean look to this game. I think the art style is makes it pretty unique, makes it stand out among other games in this genre. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I I really we can't emphasize enough that you just use machine guns to, to, to fly yeah. oh, yeah. as a jetpack, essentially. That's, that's how I yes. get to work, actually. Yeah. Just go ahead and do this traffic. The, the primary <laughs> use. I would prefer more live demos to be more realistic for the games that they are... Uh, that they are representing in that I think I should have entered the stage with, <laughs> yeah. with double machine gun jet packs. Well, thank you for not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. The stage is, is pretty nice. There's a lot of equipment <laughs> here, so. Uh, unfortunately, I think we need to wrap it up, but okay. thank you guys yeah, so much. This looks great. I'm very excited to play it. Yeah. And for more E3 coverage, stay tuned because we'll be back very soon with mm-hmm. more indie games.